everyone. This is Cassandra. Soldier for Christ Rose. How's everybody doing today? On this glorious Sunday. It's very breezy out here. It feels good. Hope everyone is having a prosperous day. I hope everyone is well. I want to talk about forgiveness today. Now, God is really harping on this forgiveness. And, you know, I got to do what God say do. So, anyone that you need to forgive, I don't care who it is, brother, sister, uncle, co-worker, mother, father, children, anyone that you need to forgive, please forgive them today. That's the reason why some of the families are not together and they're not at peace is because of forgiveness and pride. And you all know that pride kills. Pride kills. You got to put the pride aside. And if you had a choice right now to forgive whoever it is or die, which one would you choose? Would you choose to forgive that person? Or would you be sorry that they're not here anymore and you had a chance to forgive them? You got to forgive them and put your differences aside. God is calling us to forgive and love one another. That's what God is calling us to do. And we have to be the bigger person. And we have to set the example because the children, the children are looking, they're watching us and we have to set the example. Another issue I want to talk about is walking by faith and not by sight. For the people that are waiting on God for a miracle or waiting on God to come through on some things because you're in a situation and you're trying to find out why you can't go about what anybody says because if God says yes no man can say no and I tell people all the time that God is not going to give you my blessing and God is not going to give you me your blessing that's not the way God works what's for you is what's for you and what's for me is what's for me. But you still can pray like Paul said. Paul said that you can make your supplications made to God. Yes, indeed. You got to make your supplications made to God. Have faith. Don't give up. And God is going to come through in his time. It's his time. Not our time. We don't have time. God created time. He don't have nothing but time. So God don't work on our schedule. No, indeed, he does not work on our time. It's God's time. And God's timing is the best. Don't make no mistake about it. It's God's time. It's his time. But you all have a good day in Jesus' name. And try to stay encouraged today. And the game is on today. I'm at work on this southern end. I want everyone to have a prosperous day, week, and keep God first. Please keep God first. I have to, that's my motto. Keep God. Woo! First, y'all. Y'all have a good day.